Hi Lisa, it's Lan and Annette. They're just uh, standing outside our building on uh, Sunday the 22nd or whatever it is. Uh, you see we just put a new door in the side of our building. It has a rug spa over the awning and just got our new awnings up on the building itself just recently. I thought I'd quickly walk you through the uh, uh, the whole spot. You get a flavor for what's here. Uh, this is our administration side that I'm coming up to and it's a mess right here because we're cleaning carpets today but uh, uh, so don't it will look much better when you're here but here's our wall of fame here wall of shame um, and Annette hi Lisa uh, back through into the shop I don't know whether you saw the video we posted a while ago when we were under construction to get the drains put in here, but the whole building now is drained around the perimeter, which gives us all sorts of flooding space for rugs. Uh, but obviously it's multi-purpose space because uh, our trucks have to be in in the wintertime. And uh, even though our whole facility is, comp is a fenced-in compound, we can't leave our vehicles outside could in the summertime but we choose not to keep them in here um, but this is the space where we had dust rugs and then uh, if we have to flood them because they're urine or or what have you we would do it in a place where there's one truck not here right now there's another one as you can see here's another truck right here on that space and then uh, over there there's another truck but again the, the trenching goes all the way around we have a sand pit here to catch all the uh, dirt and grit and everything that comes in from our cleaning. Uh, hand tools, etc. we've got somewhat organized. We're st it's still a work in process in the center here. Um, these are the grates that we use the, to, uh, we lay out on the floor to, this is Dusty Roberts thing, to uh, dust the rugs. And of course we use the badger where we can. And uh, keeping in mind real soft Chinese wools uh, we tend not to uh, use these grates on because they can, uh, uh, they're a little hard on, on the wool tips. But uh, most other things, uh, it works just fine on. Um, right now, when we go to do extraction, uh, cleaning on rugs, because we don't flood every one of them, uh, we use one of the trucks. Uh, consequently, if one of the trucks is in for a day or after hours or something. We do have a truck mount that came out of one of our older trucks that uh, we've just uh, rebuilt and it's going to be set up as a permanent uh, a truck mount thing. That will not be operating by the time you're here. Um, say this is our oldest truck. It's, well, it still works great. It still makes money and that's, that's what it's all about. <laughs> this is Jeremy. This is Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Uh, laundry area. Uh, wash up equipment and that as it comes in, uh, uh, chemical mixing things, um, let's see, we have chemical storage here, and uh, pretty, pretty organized, that's Annette for you, not me. This is our rug cleaning room that we're going into, we built this, uh, we had to put this wall up in this this wall up in this building um, and this is our see the maps here on the wall that's our territory that we look after rug cleaning room is still it's still a work in process we've been working on it even today uh, this is our drying tower um, there will be a, a curtain going across here so that we can in the summertime uh, contain the humidity and run a dehumidifier we not don't have the great dry breeze as you do uh, there's a wall of air movers all tied in and this is power winched uh, the furniture that's here will be gone when you're here and as will everything else um, down here uh, the bottom rack is uh, carpets ready to be cleaned uh, the middle rack is carpets that have been cleaned ready for delivery or pickup it looks like they've been getting the clients come in really a lot there is probably about 25 rugs sitting here to be done right now, the last week's receipt. 
This here is the cowhide that we were talking to you about. But you can see it's, I don't know, it's from somewhere in the, um, I think she said they were in Saudi or something like that and got this. Again, this is the, the store here, which isn't painted yet. It's just been installed. Is the exterior door I showed you earlier. On the wall here is a production log of everything that's still in process. And we use a tag system with colors and things like that to keep track of it. Now, in terms of, of cleaning, um, uh, if we have urine and things like that, we'll flood some. We'll uh, use uh, skunk uh, on, if they're wool now, we'll use skunk on them and uh, um, uh, flood them on a, on a waterproof membrane and then uh, uh, claw flush them from the backside to pull, pull that uh, contamination out if that's nylon or polypropylene rugs. Of course, we use OSR, which is a pretty strong uh, rug. We use uh, fine fabric shampoo, which I think is a ProChem product for our wools. Um, and uh, whatever we need to on fringes, because uh, they're, as you know, a, a separate, almost a separate process, although we do clean them while we're cleaning the rug. So we actually, this, this is a multi-purpose room again, and that's a function of, of the size of our building. Uh, this is, uh, this floor is where any repairs done. Uh, uh, again, the dusting, as I said, is done out in the, in the main part. Um, uh, clean them. We get set up as many as we can. It's a very large one where it can only clean basically one at a time. Uh, not particularly efficient, but uh, still gets the job done. And they move from this floor directly up into the drying tower. And uh, again, we don't have sunshine and outdoor air to, to dry things up. So that's pretty much it. Um, we use uh, other specialty chemicals as we need to. And uh, uh, looking for lots of ideas on uh, ways to do it better. If you need some special things, um, you need us to get in anything uh, uh, before you get here, you just let us know. Um, we'll do that. I do know we've got a couple of really problematic rugs that are the clients have said just go ahead and do what you can with them. One's a wool with some pretty bad staining on it. Um, so we'll keep these here for when you're here. And I think that's about it. Anything else you need to know, just uh, give us a call, drop us a line, and uh, we'll look after it for you. Take care. <laughs>